Welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny and today we are going to talk about another beginner's tutorial and ang main focus natin is about the Shopee wallet and then tackle na rin natin yung difference ng Shopee wallet versus the Shopee Pay since I noticed a lot of questions as well as comments from our previous videos about it para at least ma maging guide nyo and then makatulong sa inyo na maintindihan ano ba yung difference ng Shopee wallet and then ng Shopee Pay. By the way, before we start, sana everyone is doing okay despite our situation kasi sobrang dami talagang cases ng COVID ngayon. So, if hindi importante yung gagawin nyo, guys, uh, huwag na kayong lumabas. Stay at home. Um, learn. Learn na lang tayo, ba? Diba? Okay, let's start. Ano ba yung agenda natin for our today's uh, tutorial for beginners? Una is the payment process overview since ang Shopee wallet is connected with it. Second, ano ba yung Shopee wallet na yan? Third, tulad nung na-mention ko kanina, yung difference ng Shopee wallet at ng Shopee Pay. Tapos, paano nyo mati-check yung status ng withdrawal nyo? And then, how you, how you set your automatic withdrawal sa Shopee? Papakita ko rin sa inyo kung paano kayo mati-change ng Shopee wallet pin. And then, gano'n ba katagal? yung na magre-reflect sa account nyo once na nag-transfer kayo ng income from Shopee to your bank account. So, for sure, yung mga baguhang online seller sa Shopee, ito yung mga current questions nyo, and we will discuss it one by one. And of course, last but not the least is the live demo. If familiar kayo on how I share knowledge, I really wanted to have a live demo as much as I can kasi um, ang mga tao iba-iba yung level of adaptability niya. Yung iba, isang sabi mo lang, nagigets na nila. Yung iba, kailangan merong binabasa like this presentation. Or yung iba, gusto nila, nakikita nila live demo. So, I'm trying my best to uh, provide all those uh, all those, uh, like, information, live demo, tapos ito nga, presentation, para at least lahat kayo makasabay. Kasi this um, channel is, I want to build this channel para at least matulungan yung mga nagsisimula, magkaroon ng community yung mga gustong magsimula. Okay? So, let's start with the payment process overview. So, ano ba yung payment process overview? So, eto, ang nakalagay dito, after the completion of an order, Lahat ng income mo will be transferred sa Shopee wallet mo. And then you can withdraw it through your bank account. So, ano ba yung mga kalami kalimitang question nyo about this? Ma'am, paano po gumawa ng Shopee wallet? Ang Shopee wallet, hindi nyo yan gagawin. Once na meron na kayong shop or once na seller na kayo sa Shopee, automatic meron kayong Shopee wallet. All you have to do is uh, define ko ano yung gusto nyong settings. For example, gusto nyo ba ng manual withdrawal or automatic withdrawal? Okay? Clear tayo dun, ha? And then, ang next question about the Shopee wallet is, ah, uh, Ma'am, paano po yun? Inaabonohan po ba ng rider yung COD? If may, kasi ganun yung iniisip ng iba. And I understand that since beginner kayo, that's why I'm here helping you, guiding you. So, wala pong inaabonohan ng rider pagdating sa order sa Shopee. Everything is automatic na napaprocess sa Shopee. So, please, um, uh, wag niyong kalimutan na wala kang yung babayaran or aabonohan sa mga rider kahit COD pa yan. Sa auto, uh, automatic lahat sa Shopee yung process. I hope it's clear and then kung may question kayo about what I am saying, please don't hesitate to comment down below and then I'm, I will try to address it. And go, going back to payment process overview, ang nakalagay dito, ang first step is order completed. So once na yung order nyo is successfully delivered na sa buyer nyo, then that's the time na ma-transfer siya sa inyong Shopee wallet. Take note ko lang, kasi alam ko magiging question nyo, uh, Ma'am, gano'n po katagal bago ma-transfer yung income, itong income natin sa order completed going to Shopee wallet? Ang maximum is that 5 days from the delivery date, kasi under siya ng Shopee guarantee. Again, if hindi mo pa alam yung Shopee guarantee, you can check the video tutorial about it. Diniscuss ko yun at para, uh, para mas maintindihan mo kasi nandun yung full details. And then once naman na mag-order receive na yung buyer mo, then automatic matatransfer yun sa Shopee wallet mo. And then from your Shopee wallet, lahat ng nakredit dito, 
ayun yung income na pwede mong i-transfer to your bank account. Pag sinabing withdraw, hindi yun withdrawin mo from Shopee tapos may pera ka na, yung parang may ATM ka ng Shopee tapos uh, pag winidraw mo sa, uh, sa ATM machine, meron ka ng pera. Pag sinabing withdraw sa Shopee, para hindi kayo makonfuse, ibig sabihin nun, yung income mo from your Shopee wallet ay itatransfer mo sa iyong bank account. So, ito, important question din to na lagi kong naririnig or lagi kong nababasa, sorry, uh, sa mga previous video ko. Ma'am, okay lang bang walang bank account? At pwede ba akong magbenta kahit wala akong bank account? Well, um, literally, yes, pwede kang magbenta kahit wala kang bank account. Pero ano yung disadvantage? Or ano yung magiging problema mo? Of course, paano mo matatransfer yung income mo doon sa bank account mo kung wala kang bank account? Malinaw ba? Ay, so, okay, ganito na lang. Magpo-float yung pera mo sa Shopee Wallet. Hindi mo siya makukuha kapag wala kang bank account. Kaya importante na meron kang bank account before kang magbenta. Meron sa BPI, yung, yung starting ko sa BPI is ang 500 lang yung maintaining balance. So, you can check out BPI, BDO. Ayan, kasi mas mad madali yung ano nila, process nila in terms of opening a uh, bank account. Necessary na ba yung bank account ka para at least matrack mo din yung mga orders or yung mga transactions na papasok sa shop mo. Ayan, so I hope clear tayo dito ha. If may question kayo, again, comment nyo lang. Next slide tayo. So, ano ba yung Shopee Wallet? For sure, meron na kayong idea as we discussed the ano kanina, di ba? The, process, the payment process overview. So, Shopee Wallet stores money from your refunds and sales proceeds. So, sabi, sabi dito, lahat ng income mo from from your uh, from your shop, yung mga nabenta mo, or kay mga refunds, or kaya yung mga loss compensation adjustment, dyan yan papasok lahat. At pwede mong i-withdraw yan, eh, kahit everyday pwede mong i-withdraw yan, or weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, as much as you want, pwede mong i-withdraw, depende sa'yo. And then, take note ko lang, you can withdraw uh, without charge or free withdrawal sa Shopee once a week. But, um, if you're going to withdraw after uh, more than once a week, then you have a charge amounting, magkano yun? 15 pesos. Yun, merong 15 pesos charge kapag mag-withdraw ka more than once a week. Okay? So, next slide tayo. Ito na, Shopee Wallet versus Shopee Pay. So, in ko lang to dito para at least ma-discuss na rin natin kasi madali lang naman to. And para mawala rin yung confusion or masagot din yung mga tanong na nag yung mga tanong ng mga beginners about this. Before kasi yung Shopee Wallet is parang Shopee Pay. Pero pinag pinaghiwalay siya ngayon ng Shopee. So Shopee Wallet is more on the seller side para mas madaling maintindihan. And then Shopee Pay is more on the buyer side. Kumbaga, si Shopee Wallet, wallet to ng nagbebenta. Si Shopee Pay, wallet to ng mga customer. So, sa Shopee Wallet, jaan pupunta lahat, jaan pupunta lahat ng income ng mga sellers. Tapos, yung sinabi ko kanina, kapag mayroong withdrawal, uh, refund, and adjustments about dun sa mga umorder sa inyo, dyan yan papasok sa Shopee Wallet nyo. Sa customer side, or sa buyer side, Shopee Pay. So, this is an official e-wallet, electronic wallet, kung saan uh, pwede silang mag-top up and then, automatic magkakaroon ng pera yung uh, buyer wallet nila or yung Shopee Pay nila na pwede nilang ipambili sa Shopee. Sa Shopee Pay, ang benefits nito sa mga customer is maraming mga free vouchers, mga discounts na available. Kasi pinopromote talaga ni Shopee na maging cashless ba. Tapos hindi na cash on delivery yung transaction sa Shopee. I hope medyo malinaw sa inyo and um, I'm trying my best na ipakita yung difference pero medyo clear naman siya eh. Seller wallet and then buyer e-wallet. Okay, let's proceed in our next slide. How to check the status of withdrawal. So, eto, pinapakita ko sa inyo dito yung step-by-step -step process. But then, I will, um, on the latter part of our presentation, papakita ko sa inyo yung, ano, yung live demo. 
eto lang, nilagay ko lang to dito para at least may guidance kayo, like I said earlier, kasi yung iba gusto nila nakikita nila yung step-by-step -step price uh, process. But later on, we will do this, itong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ito. Gawin natin ito mamaya dun sa ating live demo. Kung paano tayo mag-check ng status of withdrawal. So, next slide is how to set your automatic withdrawal. So, sa Shopee Wallet, or sa Shopee, tulad nung nabanggit ko kanina, you can set your withdrawal manually or automatic. Kapag sinet mo siya ng automatic, pwede mo siyang iset ng weekly, ng bi-weekly, at ng monthly. Kapag sinabing weekly sa automatic, uh, I mean, kapag automatic withdrawal ang sinelect mo, pag weekly, sabi dito, yung wallet balance mo daw, transfer nila sa bank account mo every Tuesday of the same day. So, ibig sabihin, kung Tuesday, transfer nila yan ng gabi. Gabi nila tinatransfer kapag automatic withdrawal. Kasi kap ang kinaibahan, si automatic withdrawal, same day nila tinatransfer yung pera. Pero kapag manual, kung uh, winidraw, I mean, kung winidraw ko siya ngayong araw, bukas pa nila itatransfer ng Shopee. So, yun yung pinagkaiba nila. And then, bi-weekly, meron ding bi-weekly na automatic withdrawal. So, parang ano to, kumbaga, para mas mapadali, kinsenas katapusan yung sahod mo. Kasi, first and third Monday of the month, parang in layman's term lang, para mabilis ipaliwanag, di ba? Uh, kinsenas katapusan yung sasahurin mo sa Shopee, parang ganon. And then, monthly, every 16th of the month naman nila itatransfer. Every month yan, ha? Kaya monthly. Later on, sa live demo natin, ipapakita ko rin sa inyo kung paano nyo siya iseset. For now, i-discuss ko lang muna to para at least may idea kayo kung ano ba yung um, mas uh, suitable sa inyo. Weekly ba? Bi-weekly ba? Or monthly ba yung automatic withdrawal? Just in case gusto nyo ng automatic withdrawal. Okay, so let's proceed. Ito, gusto nyo to. Alam ko marami katanong nito. Gaano ba katagal matransfer yung pera from Shopee going to your bank account? So, ang nakalagay dito, for automated withdrawals, every Tuesday, the funds will be transferred to your bank account in the evening of the same day. So, yun yung sinabi ko sa inyo kanina. Kapag automatic withdrawal, on the same day, matatransfer ni Shopee yung uh, income nyo. If you requested a manual withdrawal, so ito na yung manual na sinasabi ko, it will be transferred the next business day. So, kung... Tulad ng example ko kanina, ngayon ako nag-withdraw, bukas pa transfer ni Shopee sa bank account ko. Eto, ang tanong nyo, the transfer funds should reflect on your account within 2 to 5 business days. Lilinawin ko lang kasi binanggit dito. Shopee will transfer the, the funds on the next business day. Baka ang iniisip nyo na sa bank account nyo na on the next day. Hindi yun ganon. Ibig sabihin lang, tinransfer ni Shopee sa bank sa banko, yung funds nyo, pero si banko, meron pa silang processing time, which is 2 to 5 business days. So, estimately, siguro a week, yung pinakamatagal, bago mag-reflect sa bank account nyo. Kaya, huwag kayong, uh, huwag kayong mag-panic just in case na hindi pagad mag-reflect. Of course, meron kasing processing time yan, and merong mga uh, different process, and minsan nagkakaroon din ng system issue. So, just be patient, just be patient kasi for sure naman na since nasa Shopee yan, um, maayos yan. Magiging maayos yan kasi hindi yan pwede na mawala. Lalo na kung merong record sa Shopee. Alright? So, clear tayo dito ha. And then, ayun, of course, there will be a notification once na yung income nyo ay na-deposit na sa bank account nyo. Makikita nyo yan dun sa notification. Meron din tayong um, video tutorial about different Shopee notification. So, dun sa mga baguhan pa lang na nanonood ng video ko, please make sure to watch all of my videos. I mean, I'm sharing everything I know, lalo na yung mga nagsisimula pa lang kasi kailangan nyo malaman yon. Importante na malaman nyo yung mga little details na for sure makakatulong para mas mapatakbo nyo ng maayos yung shop nyo dito sa Shopee. Okay, so ito. Just in case no, maging question nyo to, sorry. Can I modify or cancel a withdrawal request? The answer is... 
No, hindi po siya possible once na nasubmit nyo na yung request nyo sa Shopee. Though, kapag mali yung, yung bank account na in-enter nyo, hindi naman yan tatanggapin ng bank. Kasi ang bank po, very strict yan. They have the quality check na kailangan yung bank account details and the bank account name is tying up dun sa records nila. Kung may mali dun, rejected yon And then, that's the time you can do another withdrawal request. Edit nyo muna, tapos ensure na tama na, and then request kayo ng another uh, withdrawal para at least mag-proceed na yung processing going to your bank account. Sana nakakatulong sa inyo yung mga pinagsasabi ko dito ha. But again, if mayroon kayong suggested topics, just let me know and then I'll try my best na uh, i-discuss din yan. I am finding some time para ma-discuss natin isa-isa. Medyo pinofocus ko lang din talaga yung sa beginner's tutorial kasi marami akong, maraming baguhan at marami akong nare-receive na mga questions and comments coming from them and I really wanted to build a community for us na gustong maging successful. And, of course, here we are. Let's go to our live demo kung paano nyo matcheck yung status ng inyong withdrawal, how to change the Shopee wallet pin, as well as kung paano kayo magsiset ng automatic withdrawal sa Shopee. Okay, start na tayo ng live demo. So, makikita nyo ngayon kung paano mag-withdraw at the same time kung paano i-check yung status ng inyong withdrawal. So, login muna kayo sa inyong Shopee account. Punta kayo sa My Shop and then i-click nyo tong Seller Balance. Pagka-click nyo ng seller balance, ayan, makikita nyo merong withdrawal and merong transactions. If gusto nyo mag-withdraw, i-click nyo yung withdrawal. And then, kailangan nyo lang i-enter dyan yung amount na gusto nyo i-withdraw. And then, makikita nyo kasi dito merong withdrawal fee kasi sabi ko kanina, di ba, sa tutorial natin, isang beses, isang beses ka lang pwedeng mag-withdraw for free and nakapag-withdraw na ako this week. So, pag nag-withdraw ko ulit, meron ng charge na 15 pesos. Once na-enter mo yung withdrawal amount, confirm mo lang yon and automatic ipaprocess na yan ng Shopee. With regards to status naman, back tayo. Pupunta kayo sa transactions para makita nyo yung status ng withdrawal nyo. Okay. So, ayan. Meron dito nakalagay all tsaka date range. So, piliin natin yung all para ma-filter natin sa money out. So, click natin tong money out kasi ibig sabihin ng money out yung mga bayad or yung mga pera natin sa Shopee wallet natin na ating inilalabas. So, kapag tinransfer natin yan sa bank account, automatic uh, tag siya as money out. Click natin yung money out and then lalabas lahat dyan ng mga na-withdraw nyo sa Shopee wallet nyo. Of course, ang gusto ko lang makita, like for example, nag-withdraw na kasi ako ngayong week. So, i-click ko lang dito yung current week. Meron din kayong choice kung gusto nyo makita yung for the last two months or for the last month, ganyan. Okay, ito, pag, pagkakita nyo nito, ito na yung winidraw ko for this week. Click mo lang. And then, pag nag-scroll down ka pa baba, ayan, makikita mo yung status. As you can see, ang nakalagay dito, withdrawal transferred. Yung winidraw ko daw is na-transfer na ng Shopee to the bank. Ang bank ko is BPI. So, it will take uh, around 2 to 5 days, tulad nung nabanggit natin sa presentation kanina, before yan mag-reflect sa ating banko or sa ating savings account. Okay, let's go back para makita naman ninyo kung paano kayo mag-change ng Shopee Wallet PIN. So, i-click lang natin itong uh, settings na image. Ayan. So, pagka-click natin dyan, makikita nyo change wallet PIN. So, dito tayo pwedeng mag-change ng ating parang password or passcode ng ating wallet sa Shopee. So, all you have to do is enter lang yung verification code na isa-set nila sa mobile number nyo and then click nyo lang yung continue. Sundan nyo lang yung process and automatic naman yun, change yung wallet pin nyo as long as kinonfirm nyo. Babak ko na kasi hindi naman ako mag-change ng wallet pin. So, doon naman tayo sa automatic withdrawal. Kapag gusto nyo ng automatic withdrawal, i-click nyo lang tong button na to. Para mag-color green siya. Once na mag-color green siya, you can choose from weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly kung ano yung gusto nyong, uh, kumbaga, frequency ng inyong automatic withdrawal since na-discuss na rin natin yan sa presentation. So, let's say, for example, gusto ko weekly, i-click ko lang yung weekly, dapat lalabas yung ito, yung check. Ibig sabihin, confirmation yan na gusto ko ng weekly. Okay, turn off ko lang. Kasi ayoko ng automatic withdrawal. It's... 
it's up to you kung gusto mo ng automatic or manual withdrawal. So, go back ako. And then, ayun. Yun lang. Actually, yun lang papakita ko sa inyo. And, sana nakatulong to sa inyong video natin uh, regarding Shopee Wallet as well as uh, yung live demo natin. And if in case meron kayong questions or meron kayong confusion, naguluhan kayo dun sa mga uh, information na nabanggit ko, please comment down below and then we will answer it as uh, soon as possible. And, Don't forget to like and subscribe para lagi kayong updated sa ating mga learnings. And click nyo rin yung notification bell. Ayun, thank you and take care. Bye!